Got my clothes all nice and clean and my rugs. Now I'm off to the post office. I went to this um, lava jet laundromat and it was really nice. It had 4.6 stars. Um, the attendant was cleaning the whole time. I Every time someone left um, an area, he was spraying it down. So um, everything was nice and sanitized. Guys, it is so hot. My, my temperature is reading 102. I'm sure it's in the 90s today. I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but I am not a summer person. I do not like the heat. And I got heat bumps all across my forehead because um, it's been so hot here in Arizona. So I'm happy that... Um, I will be leaving in a couple of days um, to some cooler temperatures. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I am going to run to Hobby Lobby. I have a few things to pick up. It is on the other side of the highway. And then I need to go to the UPS store. And there's a few other places that I need to go to. And I still Time to get back on the road. I've been camping um, on my friend's property and now I am headed to where am I going where am I going oh to California gosh you see those mountains hope there's not too much glare in the camera surrounded by mountains and I'm in Arizona. I'm not sure what these mountains are called, but they're beautiful. Beautiful. This road is so bumpy. It doesn't look bumpy, but it is very bumpy. So I'm going to get off of here because the footage will be shaky. eyes they can find food all by themselves they don't need you to feed them 
um, last month even, they learned how to get into our margarita machine. They broke into our terrace. And we'd like to think that they had a really good night, but not such a good morning because we didn't see the family for about six days afterwards. <laughs> There's about 11 that live here, and they even have a little baby right now. Um, the species comes from South America, and this is about as far north as they travel. But this family has since made this cave home. Our cave was rediscovered after the Hohokam people in 1879 by a man named Solomon Lick, who was a local rancher and hotel owner. He had lost some cattle, and while he was out searching for them, he encountered a small hole, which is now our entrance, that he decided to crawl into to investigate where the cold air was coming from. He unfortunately decided to use this knowledge as a gimmick for his hotel advertising that if you come stay at his hotel, you are welcome to come into the cave and explore all on your own, as well as take home souvenirs. And unfortunately for us, those souvenirs were our still our still lights being removed. So if everyone's comfortable, besides the warmth, we can continue on. I feel so good. Oh, yeah. You guys so far the gas is 209 it just stopped i'm at 27.51 okay 27.69 all right that's the last fill up the gas prices are going up i think i started at what 159 in oklahoma yeah i think they were 159 in oklahoma 169 and then we're at two in 1000 feet turn left onto the i-10 west ramp downtown phoenix arizona and i am hitting some major traffic major traffic as long as i make it to the campground before it's dark it's 3 40. got about an hour and a half to go up 
early this morning. I've actually been up since 7. I am headed to a cell tower, the campground that I am staying at. Um, I cannot upload tomorrow's video. Today is Saturday, so I need to upload the video today for um, for Sunday. So I am going to spend. Sorry for all the movement. I'm going to spend my day at the cell tower, the AT&T cell tower. To upload my video and I make appearance later today I am still in my PJs I have not combed my hair um, yeah campground and I don't have good cell connection to upload my videos I drive to the closest um, cell tower and that's where I spend my day uploading my videos I use um, sellmapper.com I think that's what it is I post the name uh, once I look at the website again and you choose the um, the carrier like AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon and it shows you the towers that's closest to you so I have about a 45 minute to hour drive so I have not been able to respond to comments. Um, all right, I come back when we get close to the tower. The tower, and that's where I'm headed. So I will spin. Take the next right onto North Frontier Street. So this is where I will spend the day, uploading my videos. Hours later, I have my video uploaded. Whew. It's been a long day. I thought I was going to cook, but I did not. I did some other things that I need to get done. Now I need to run an errand. It is 3.30. I think the sun starts to set around 5, so I want to be back at the campground at 5. I am driving through the town of, I think it's Wickenburg, and they have a big uh, Ferris wheel in the middle of the town, which I think is so cool. Yeah, Wickenburg. Welcome to historic downtown Wickenburg. Yeah. I noticed they have their Christmas decorations out, which is pretty cool. Christmas is what, three weeks away, I believe. Yeah. Oh, they have Santa Claus. Do you see Santa Claus? <laughs> He's waving at us. Pretty. Had some exit the traffic circle onto US 60 East. Maybe continue on US 60 East for 32 miles. Maybe like Christmas fair. So, yeah, I've been here about a week. Today's my first day out, and again, I only left to, um, to upload my video. I did not feel like exploring because. I plan on doing quite a bit of exploring next Tuesday, nope, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm enjoying this days of just sitting still. Plus it was a long drive to get here. So after I run this errand, I don't have anything else planned for tonight. think what I'm going to cook. I guess I need to plan that. I'm loving these palm trees. I don't know if you guys were able to see that. I didn't flip the camera around. I will. 
Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. The campground that I'm staying at, it has this cactus garden in the back of it. So I'm going to walk through the garden and let you guys check it out. And then I will see you again in the morning when I drive out and head to California. I didn't pick up the camera much um, while I was here because I just wanted to rest. The neighborhood that backs up to the RV park. Oh, I see a jackrabbit. I hope I, oh, hope I caught it on the camera. So I don't know if someone from the neighborhood created this garden or someone from the RV park. How cool is this? Rabbit. this cactus bush there's not a name tag on it I'm not sure what it is I am hitting the road to California. I am so excited. Someone asked me in the comments if I use the shower um, in my van. I use the shower in my van if I'm dry camping. If I'm staying at a campground or I use the um, shower there because I want to get my money's worth. <laughs> um, who doesn't enjoy a long hot shower there's a neighborhood behind this campground this is North Ranch uh, campground and so I walked through the camp the neighborhood the other day I didn't film but it was a pretty cute neighborhood but it's a pretty nice um, RV park it's very quiet very quiet here which was nice it's very relaxing like I said make a right yeah so that's the uh -oh. I don't know if you guys can see that sign, but it's North Ranch. Guys, look at all these mountains. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, so I'm going to get off here, um, enjoy my drive, and if there's something to see, I will hop back on here and let you guys see what I'm looking at. All right. See you in California! Woohoo! I'm so excited!
I'm ready to put my toes in some sand. I'm ready to see some green trees too. <laughs> I've enjoyed my time here in the desert, but I am definitely ready uh, to see some green. Some green and some blue. Yeah. Alright guys, talk to you later. Hey guys, it is time for me to fill up on gas again. Um, the last time I got gas was in southern New Mexico before um, before crossing the state line into Arizona. Um, I visit my friends. I didn't do a lot of driving. I actually sat because I needed to rest and I was tired. Um, and then I drove about an hour north of Phoenix, four hour drive. I'm overdue for gas. I, I never let my tank get this low. I'm actually 82 miles to E. And okay, I was listening to GPS. My exit is coming up, so I'm going to fill up my tank. I just saw that gas station back a ways. It was $2.07. There's a Loves up here. I'm not sure if it's the same amount or not. That's where I'm going to stop and fill up my gas before. Um, before I get into California because someone's already commented um, the gas prices in California is pretty high. Open this uh, Loves had a um, a Papa John's because I want some pepperoni pizza and I don't have any dough to make any because of course I can make it myself and I won't be grocery shopping for probably another four weeks or so. Yeah, but it looks like this location has a subway and a chest of chicken. Maybe I get some chicken. Maybe, maybe. So yeah, I'm in Courtside, Arizona. Um, and I'm not sure how far off the border is. But I know I have about, I think maybe a three hour drive left. Yeah. And then I am going to sit and edit videos. Okay, so the gas here is $2.07. That's not bad. So we went from 159 in Oklahoma, or was that 169 in Oklahoma, 159 in Texas, 183 in southern New Mexico, and then 207 in Arizona. I am loving all of these mountains out here. Loving it. I know it's going to cost me well over um, $35, $40 to fill up my gas tank. You know, that's a good question. Um, how big is my gas tank on this van? I'm not sure. Yeah, but I think it's gonna cost me around 40 bucks um, to fill up my tank. Guys, I can smell that fried chicken out here. <laughs> And I really think I'm gonna go inside and get me some fried chicken. Ooh, it's a macaroni and cheese. Yes. Yep. Head south toward Dome Rock Road West. Okay, I'm at 37, 38 bucks. Hmm. I'm at forty dollars. Okay. Can we see it? Forty-one. 4150? 4120. Yep, 4120. Yep, that's not bad. I'm gonna add a little bit more and then I'm gonna get back on the road. Okay, so I added a, just a bit more. We're at 4147, which isn't bad. I'm going to pull over to the side because I need to um, replenish my water. I drink a ton of water. I need to replenish my water. Um, 
and I did get me some chicken. <laughs> oh, I did. I couldn't resist. And then I'm going to hop back on the road. I think I have two hours to go. I think I did. And I need to move because this truck is waiting for me. Sorry about the hand. Yeah, so I have like two hours. I think two hours to go. But yeah, I need to get some water. Before I get back on the road because this is going to be my last my last stop unless there's something uh, something to see on the way yeah something to see that, this is going to be my last my last stop okay we're almost in California we're gonna get there okay I got me some water I got my chicken I got some macaroni cheese and a biscuit. I'm going to, um, excuse me, I'm going to get back on the road. And if there's something to see, then of course we'll stop and check it out. But if not, we're just going to keep on going. All right. See you at the state line. If I got to be. excited so excited I don't know if I've ever shared with you guys but um, taking uh, selfies at the state line sign um, I've been doing that for several years now so the California the sign has been in the worst location possible that I have not been able to get my selfie um, at the California state line so I am stoked today to be able to get this selfie Woohoo! I'm excited Back on the road.